and GSPL, they're in focus and Vivek is here to tell us more. Vivek? Well, that's right. You know, the entire metal pack is buzzing. This is on the back of the fact that improved demand as well as, you know, strong pricing trends are aiding the sector. First, let's have a look at iron ore major. So, NMDC, you know, reports indicate that the company has hiked both iron ore lumps as well as fines prices by 300 rupees a ton, respectively. So, now, you know, when you're talking about what Antique has to say, they maintain a buy stance on the stock. They're saying that the falling price trend that the company was witnessing till now has ended. And, in fact, they say that potential is now there for increasing the prices post-monsoon on the back of the fact that demand trends are quite good. Along with that, they're saying higher international prices and strong domestic steel production is expected to continue. In fact, yesterday, we also highlighted the fact that ICICI Securities upgraded the stock uh, to a buy stance from an ad that they had earlier. They increased the target price to 180 rupees a share from 130 rupees a share. And they've also raised their FY24 estimated EBITDA by close to 22%. Uh, they've also gone ahead and upgraded the valuation multiple. Uh, they are valuing the stock on an EV to EBITDA basis. They've upgraded that particular multiple to five and a half times from the earlier five times that they had. What is it that they like? They believe that the sales volume in FY24 estimated could breach the 30 to 40 million tons per annum that they were earlier targeting. And along with that, long-term volume visibility is clear, and they believe that the return on equity too may go ahead and improve further. Now, talking about JSPL, an interesting note from Antique today, one of the top gainers. Uh, Antique has maintained a buy stance on the stock. They like the volume growth prospects, the cost reduction efforts that the company is undertaking, as well as the margin accretive projects, as well as prudent financial acumen that the company has displayed so far. What they're saying is that the captive coal mining, as well as lower iron ore costs, will go ahead and drive cost reduction in the second half of FI24. Uh, along with that, the company's aggressive CAPEX outlay plans is also something that they believe holds them in good stead. Okay. Okay, uh, Vivek, thank you very much. Uh, so, two interesting uh, brokerage notes coming through uh, and uh, stocks are reacting, uh, JSPL and NMTC. We'll take a quick commercial break here. We are back.